temperature. Here's what we've got cold and clear for tonight. Sunny skies for Sunday, but there is rain ahead actually in the forecast as well. And that's not the only thing because tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we get another hour of sleep. I'm excited. Set those clocks back one hour because we've got daylight savings time. Day, not savings, not savings, daylight saving time. I know that's kind of like a pet peeve with some people, so don't worry. There is no S on the end of that. Anyway, for tonight, 21 for your low, 0 to 5 out of the northwest, cold and clear, calm winds. So that's kind of nice. We don't have that really bad wind chill like we had yesterday, dropping down almost 10 degrees in some spots. We're actually approaching our record lows for tonight as well, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. 45 for your high tomorrow, mostly sunny, still chilly, 5 to 10 out of the west. So we've got the sunshine. That's going to be great. It'll feel a little warmer, but the wind picks up a little bit extra. Now 21 for your low overnight tonight in the Tri-Cities, mostly clear. We're cold all over again. Northwest winds 3 to 7, a little more of a breeze, so it's probably going to feel like 18 19 degrees, so it's going to feel like you're in the teens, but you're not actually going to be there. 45, it's not much. It doesn't provide much comfort, though, does it? 45 for your high tomorrow. Sunny Sunday, staying chilly, though, as we go all the way towards the beginning of your work week. Now, as we get into the northern counties, you kind of get stuck a little bit. 16 degrees for your low overnight tonight. And with the wind, even though it's very calm, still going to drop you about a degree or two. So it's going to be a little uncomfortable. Make sure you bundle up, grab a nice blanket, a heating blanket. It's going to be great. 45 degrees for your high tomorrow, mostly sunny. Another chilly one, but 5 to 10 out of the west. So there's going to be a little bit of that breeze again. Watch for a very small wind chill. Now, as we go into our future cast model, keep an eye on this. We've got 8 o'clock tonight. We're going to start our model into motion. As we set it into motion, you can see that cloud cover I showed you earlier is going to move on off to the east. We've got a band of cloud cover that should come in during the morning hours, but it should also be gone by the time we get into the afternoon. It's not going to be heavy either, so we should get plenty of sunshine. Either way, by the time we get into the later part of the afternoon, we're sunny, then clouds come in again tomorrow night. Those are stronger, and those hold all the way until Monday morning, which means our lows should be in the 30s, which is good news. But behind that, you've got more clear skies, drops us again on Monday night. Behind that, in comes the rain again for Tuesday. Now, temperatures across the area today, or tonight rather, you can see we drop into the 20s, but the thing is, expect it to be cooler than what this model is showing. Like I was saying, teens up to the north, you've got low 20s across everywhere else. This isn't taking it into effect that we're going to have very little to no cloud cover. The thing is, though, we warm up into the 40s, we're back in the 30s again tomorrow night. The next seven, though, it's kind of every other day. Stephanie is going to be covered in rain, so you're going to want your umbrella on Tuesday, then again on Thursday, then again on Saturday. Other than that, though, back into the 50s, that will feel great.